Good morning. Good morning. How are you going? Good. What's that? This is Rudolph. This is Santa Claus. This is Minions. What? Yeah, I made the Santa Claus and Minions for them. You did all these things, Sid? Yeah. Real nice, baby. You should do a tutorial. I'll help you do a tutorial. Kay. Good morning, everybody. How are everybody going this morning? Everybody up? Everybody well? As you can see, they're my favorite jersey. <laughs> I'm going to the pool and get some clothes for this man. Alright! Leo! Alright, morning, morning. The sun has come out in all its wonderful glory. We're going to drop the ducklings off to school. I want to ask all you what you want to eat today. Smart, smart, smart. Think about it. What do you want, Sana? Hamburger. Hamburger? Hamburger. Hamburgers? Ask them girls. Hamburgers? I don't want hamburgers. What do you want? Uh, uh, you want duck? Yeah. So tell me what's going on in your part of the world now. Huh? Bring me up to speed. I know there was a lot of rain across the world recently. As you might have seen, there was a lot of a flood, um, a lot of devastation being left behind from the floods. Hundreds of families are indisposed and our heart and prayers go out to them. Let me price out a cool pot now. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you say it because you know how long I try to ask you for a cool pot? You know how long I try to ask. I'm struggling here with my little tree ring burn on my stove, which I absolutely love and adore. But you know, cold pot is good to have. And you can do many things on a cold pot, you know. You can roast tomatoes, you can roast bygone, you can roast chicken, you can barbecue. You I know what I was thinking about. A barbecue? A barbecue. But you know, see, Bogo? No, well. We can't, be, we can't be indecisive every day. You had to make up your mind for one Mr. Sana. Well, if you got a cold pot, let me go out a long time eat a piece of barbecue chicken. Alright. Traffic stiff this morning, boy. Yeah. Real stiff. Are they ready? Yep. All right, go. let's go. See all you have a good day. Thank you. You too. Mwah, love all you. Love you too. Love you. Siri, you ready? Bye bye, Nalan. Love you. I like how your voice is singing. Uh oh. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Alright, so I want to shout out National Petroleum, man. Yeah, up to now when I see these company vehicles on the road, I just remember good old FP. Yes, man. Serving the nation with fuel. Many, many years ago, you uh, told us what the real meaning of NP was. Nice people. No problems. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> we are on our way to pick up a coal pot that has been gifted to us by my in laws. Um, Sana's parents, you would know them, Lance and Louis Batiste. We were actually on our way to buy a coal pot. And my Sana said, Mel, call them and find out what, how much you pay for that coal pot. So that we would have a good idea as to what the average price of a coal pot could be. Because there are some people ripping off people with prices of coal pots and stuff. Mm -hmm. They tell me, they say, man, come back, we'll give you the coal pot. I say, what? For four million dollars. Yeah, yeah. My parents don't have that. What are we going to do on this cold pot? What's the first thing we're going to do on this thing, you say? Chicken? I feel we want to boil a cup of coffee, boy. <laughs> I said 
Good morning. That's the last one. What is the problem? I'm not going to be shadow then. Anyway, you're good. All right, you're right. 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 You're Four hundred dollars. Yeah, Four hundred dollars. Yes, I can do um three fifty. Uh -huh. Back there. Four hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So partners, all the best to the Yeah, man. Mel, come and collect the coal for the girl. Yeah, boy. Oh, watch your clothes. <laughs> Catch me up. <laughs> yeah, man. Take it. Yeah, take thanks, it. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sana say you gonna buy some coffee for sugar. Very good, man. And this year, mother used to do some ironing with this. This is from your mother. Yeah. Don't enjoy. Yeah. Oh, you see this? Mm -hmm. Way boy, have that. Mm -hmm. You don't have that. Is this six in the case, in the, the, the weight? I have no idea. Six is for cotton. Seriously? Five is for, for, for linens. You real know your stuff? No girl, how do you lie? You see, I get a real big up and go sack around, right? I, I tell him, you know, I say, boy, I have to give this man something. He say, <laughs> give him the commission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Anybody call you? Boy, here the thing, the next day, the morning I was looking at it, I didn't quite finish. So we pull in by Vijay to get a, a pineapple. Mm -hmm. And this woman pull in, and in the back seat there is a mother-in-law with a baby. Mm -hmm. And the woman looking at me and she say, Hey, I was looking at two fellas for the first time on YouTube last night. Mm -hmm. I find you resemble them. <laughs> yeah. you know, I, will, um, I would like to get a book that I was talking about. I said, well, follow me now. I write a book. She said, what? Do we make you joke? Here by the book, boy? Yeah, nice one. Yeah. Here, uh, we, some, we buy some big time um, YouTubers here. Uh. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Lots of yeah. Louise, you uh. know. From what Trinidad? From Trinidad, yeah. Looking to see what plant I could keep from your mommy. Is that plants all around the yard? Uh, <laughs> have in the back and all. Yeah, man. Mmm, there's a pantry I did when things are swinging, boy. Mm -hmm. So we in beautiful Bolio, Takarigo at Trinsty. Mel spot a plant here. This is um this is morning glory. Right? You see? Yeah. And the hummingbirds love these flowers. So you get through. Yeah. I just taken a couple. Put some nice short ones there. Yeah. On that side. Right here? Look one here. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going in there. Right, so I get I think I get enough there. What about one? Yeah, so Bobby, like you're seeing Christmas early, girl. Yeah, boy. Watch now, uh, everybody waiting for the for the twenty fourth to bake. You baking ham already? <laughs> boy, we get together yesterday, and you know I had to leave back some ham for the family. Yeah, well, take care when people see this video. They think it's a rich, rich woman. You know? <laughs> That's far from that boy. Yeah, far I tell from it that. you. Hey, hey. So you know you like your little ham and. Yeah, man. So I'm making a pile of doggy bag here for all you. Yeah. What kind of ham it is that, Irene? Irene Farms? Ham, my best. Mm hmm. You want a piece of this? I uh, don't take a piece already. <laughs> Thank you. You want to shout out some people in Erin Farm? Yeah, because I used to work Erin Farm many, many moons ago, and there are so many wonderful people there who taught me so much about the working environment. Shout out to Patrina, Donna. Deborah, Miss Marlene, Miss Kathleen, all the people from the loading bay, and all the people from the sales booth, and all the people from the, the, the factory, all the people from the, the farm itself, all the bosses, mm. shout out. So how long you work there? About two years. So how did the event pass yesterday? Mm -hmm. How many guests you had so? Um, 20 workers mm -hmm. and one or two friends, so about 25, 30. All right. Okay. I really, really, really honestly forget about it. Suri wasn't well yesterday too. Right. Daddy called the night before, yeah, but he didn't get through. Mm -hmm. To remind you or to find out if you're all coming. Right. 
But when I see half past three, I say, well, mm -hmm. I don't have any food for them, yeah, boy? Yeah. I see you looking at nice school for them and thanks. Welcome, man. My daddy, I got that from Roxanne. From Roxanne. And we never use it. Right. And I keep telling them, Lancy, will you, will you ask Roxanne for this for boy? You know, you just mentioned it and Lana, Roxanne go on and buy it. We never use it, you know. Well, boy, <coughs> he... Everything our everything our reason, we end up with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gone to a good purpose. Yeah, man. Yeah, I didn't um, base it because for that reason that some people diabetic and you know. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, when I'm doing the ham, what I normally would do is keep squeezing orange juice, fresh orange juice, mm -hmm. straight off of this, peeling the orange and squeezing it. Mm -hmm. And, um, of course, I put it cloves first, and then every half an hour you squeeze the um, orange juice. Uh -huh. And like when half an hour before it's finished cooking, you make the beans with the brown sugar and mustard, mm -hmm. and then you apply it all over the ham, so that takes away the very saltiness. And you get a nice. They will cut on the freshness too. Yeah. And you get a nice contrast of flavors in your mouth. That's and right. That's what we maybe got. No more this taste. <laughs> then it's kind of caramelized. It caramelized. So you one put it in ham. for about 15 minutes, and it, that's when it caramelized. You know. Mm -hmm. So I didn't do that because I. Well, I think that tradition is better. You know? Whenever we make it ham, we do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Mel just make a no, good no, ham too. Huh? No ham in that. You like that? I see me hand coming. I see me hand coming. Oh, you, 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 I was harmless all year. You want sugar in your mouth? Sugar work? Alright, okay. Many bodies, you call it nice? Yes, Anna. Oh, Sana, thanks very much for it. Yeah, I know you like pig. Yeah, boy, I already know for it. That way he come looking like one too. Yes, 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 boy. I'll come around. Sana, you want another piece? No more meat, I'll quit, I'll quit. And he's a coffee maker too. Oh, thank you very much. Mm hmm That's not a sana. Yeah, yeah, I think I can go to some day, man. Put some chow chow on the Okay. Thank you very much. First ham for 2022. Good to see Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. We go in and buy our ham. Watch me. The money we save on buying our cool pot, we go in and buy our even farm ham. Yeah, what? Fish on thing too, you know. Fish for me, carcass, for Uncle Boom? Yes, boy, fish for Uncle Boom. Fish, fish, fish. Yes, you have to think about all you know. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. I told him the other day. Yeah, what, Ladu boy? Yeah? Ladu. Yeah. Ladu, give that name, you know. Tattoo? Yeah, Ladu. Tell, tell me why they used to call me Tattoo again. Yeah, that show called um, Fantasy Island. Mm hmm. And a little short man there. I forget what his name is. Yes? Ah, uh, what is his name, Mr. Mr. Something? A plane, a plane. A plane, a plane. A plane. A plane. A plane. <laughs> so what now? Was I was short and resemble that man? Yeah, short and resemble him. And behave like him too. Isn't yeah. Kind of funny, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> funny, I mean, jokey. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I had a, a real bow foot too out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did, you did, you did. Yeah. Stick you in the sand so the water will straight near like what? Yeah. <laughs> and watch me. I hear plenty of them old lady from Dinsley used to rub my foot too. They want to. <laughs> they, they want to too. Yeah, you want to rub the boy's foot. Yeah. You know, there's a practice that I really want to see if I can find somebody to teach me how to rub. Yeah. Because you don't really find anybody like rubbing your belly and, and ankles and that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's a tradition that dying out. I know like when whenever you have an injury, right? The first thing, yes, you'd go to the doctors and, and, and get medication and stuff and bandage and stuff. But then somebody would suggest to you, why don't you find someone who could rub? So you will get on your phone frantically trying to get a contact. You know anybody who does rub? You know anybody who does rub? And most of the times, well in my experience, when I check in a room, I didn't know somebody, you know, but she died. Yeah. He died. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. You ready? 
Yeah, man. Let me Love roll. Thanks very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Uh, that's good. Uh, everything, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good. Good. Yeah, man. Good. Good. Happy cooking. Yeah, yeah man. man. First thing, barbecue. Yeah, we go pull all your party to to bust our barbecue. We truck looking like we come and make market. <laughs> all right, all you take. Yeah. Yeah, take, take care. Yeah. Bye bye. Okay, yeah. So we have been zero road here. Real traffic. Real traffic jam. So um, I asked Sarah to tell my story about the long time days. Yes. So this area here, a lot of the, a lot of the um, came few farmers working in Orange Grove lived in these houses here, right? And one of the things I could remember is while they while they walk into work, they had their hoes, their, their hoe, mm -hmm. right? But they used to be pushing it in front of them. So while they're going to work, their hoe sharpening on the road. Yes! Yes, yeah? You ever see that? That used to happen in Arena. Yeah. So. Yeah, so by the time they reach the work, you know, the, the whole have a nice sharp edge. A nice silver line at, yes, the, at the tip. Yes, yes, yes. And every house you pass by, you're smelling that chakari frying. Yeah. These women will wake up maybe like about half past three, four o'clock in the morning, right? And they're making their sada roti and the different takaris, right? And this takari is serving for lunch, uh, for breakfast, and for lunch. And sharing with your brethren on will too, eh? Yes. My grandmother used to tell me, Tante Mary, right? She and I watched that. That was my best friend, you know. That was my BFF boy, my rider yeah. guy. She used to make roti for her husband, Uncle Marcus, to go into the fields on a morning. She used to send this man to work with 13 big. 13 bakes. 13 bakes. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm most likely she put nothing as sappy because back then might not foil and Yeah, yeah. as sappy is a piece of cloth. Yeah. That used to be used to hold um your bakes and your rotis and stuff. It's also used as um as pot holders to remove pots from the fire and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then that might go in a brown bag. Well, I don't know. Well, they had to use their imagination. Back then, they used to have potato right? bags. Right, yeah, that, so it might have been a potato bag too, yeah? So she might uh, they used to take the potato bags and use it to make clothing. This or is like hammocks. The brown, this is like the brown um, crocus bag type material. There was more cloth. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know material. what you're talking about. What Mohammed's house? Good, Good morning, everybody. Oh, good morning. What's up? No, it's not live. It's alive. live. Hello. 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 fellas are them real hygienic boy. Hello. Hello. Oh, Hello. Hello. Nice shrimp. Hello. 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 I'll take three pounds. Oh, they have it here. Look at this. Guys, let me tell all you something. Look at how clean these people rear the chicken. Very, very clean. Good handiwork, man. <laughs> so, uh, with these guys here, they're real friendly, they're real willing to help. I'm a boy tall right here over to help me clean or at least detach the head of the shrimp. Yeah, of the shrimp. Right. Yes, yeah, some nice fellas. I guess some nice fellas. Soul boss, soul boss. Soul boss. And this go so you is what medium sir? Short boss. You short boss, man? <laughs> but you taller than him. And <laughs> um, we have two nice gentlemen here. I don't know they'll tell me their names. Luis. 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 You Venezolano. Yes. The hola como estas. Hola como estas. You hablo español un poquito. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's Maurice. Let me get these fellas' name and pick them up. 
What's your name? Stefan? Mitch? And then Pa. Pa? Okay, right. So these fellas are the ones in the background doing a lot of the hard work too. It's a team effort. It's a team effort. Everybody knows what they had to do and they do it with perfection. And they do it without complaining. Yeah. And they do it with a smile on their face. You couldn't get better than that. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, all you have a great day, right? Senor! Adios! Bye! Well, Alright, man, good to meet you. Them fellas handle me real nice. Yeah, have a good day. Okay. Cool. I see you. Real feeling it up and touching it yeah, up. Yeah, I'm looking for a nice big bag. <laughs> you know, we try not to give the kids and them too much as soda these days, but right. we're doing barbecue. You buy one or two chubby. <laughs> yeah? The journey is the big stand, Alba and With Shadow Benny. Mm -hmm. Right? So much yeah. more of your favorite music coming your way this Thursday. True, you see, we have some December potato homie out just to buy some, um, some shells. December. We have shells too. Right. <laughs> Peas and carrots, three for ninety ninety five. Mom pasta, five packs, nineteen ninety five. Basic rice, one kg. Two. When last, all you see a farmer. Well, you might know it. Some, some may know it as a tractor. I know it as a farmer growing up. What you know it as? Tractor. A tractor. Yeah. But me and them used to say like a farmer. Think you can climb the hill? If I wipe you, I can climb the hill where your farm will come to. Boy, you are real poor one. got a nice rinse with some vinegar but I didn't leave it too long because I didn't want the vinegar to start um, curing the shrimp so to speak right so we drain them out real good and I have a nice little fancy bowl to mix it up in what are you eating with your grilled chicken I would eat the chicken and shrimp just so so, okay, we'll some potato salad. Yeah, remember, you see aloo peeling, man, eh? Yeah, man, I will get cracking this now. All right. Lovely, so let's dress up our shrimp, or shrimps, as we like to see in Trinidad sometimes. What we have here, ginger, garlic grated, all right? Black pepper, a little seafood seasoning situation, green seasons, Green seasoning situation. Tap my tongue there, you know, I started to dribble already. Right? Um, oyster sauce. This is sesame oil. It came in a big tin and I, I found a perfect storage device for it. And some olive oil. I'm going to be using a little orange juice for acidity and sweetness as opposed to the lemon. Okay. There we go. Let's go inside garlic ginger always be careful to hold this part of the dispenser in place because for some reason this one is always fly out put as much black pepper as you wish right eh? this contains salt the oyster sauce also contains salt so between this and this, I think there's no need for me to add added salt. Of course, you taste and you adjust according to what you want. This is a healthy tablespoon of oyster sauce that I put in there. Tablespoon of sesame oil. Tablespoon of olive oil. About two tablespoons of orange juice and this amount of fresh green seasoning mix and if you want to prepare 
pair this with uh, hot peppers, chili peppers, or anything that gives you some heat, feel free to do that, you know. But I keep it heat free because of the kids. I will mix it up, well mix it up real, real good. I'm a boy handling the chicken here. The pollo. <laughs> What's going to be barbecue in that too, you know? What's that? That is the liver, boy. Oh, that's the best part. Yeah, we're going to be fighting for that. <laughs> yeah, man. So, seeing that the chicken and the shrimp have already been seasoned, uh, we're going to let them marinate and hang out for what, like about uh, two hours? Yeah, because we want them barbecue with the gills. Of course. Right? Right, so we're going to leave them to Koso May. Yeah, man. While me and you go and peel some aloo together. We together. We had to do it together. Together. You mean like side by side? Side by side. Like a national anthem. Yes. <laughs> the grind seasoning come out real good in Your grind seasoning. What? Have you blend up all kind of thing in that seasoning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Pimento, garlic, chive, shadow belly. Wait. I could make seasoning in them. Yeah, man. Mm. Well, Alice, ah. here what we're on now. Yeah. I see you're really, you're, you're, you're trying to see if you could let go this video today. I'm hoping to. Right, so here what I go do. I go deal with the Halloween in the meanwhile. Serious? Yeah, man. I could come and see what you're doing, eh? Yeah, I tried to edit the um, footage from this morning. Right, all well, yeah, so watch Alice busy at work here. Yeah, man. Just yeah, pick I'm up them gills and I'm from school. Watch what we're on there. <laughs> Yeah, we orange peel here. Taking long to dry with the cold weather, boy. So let me go and deal with this potato. I like to put my salt in my potato to boil it. Yeah, and, and we always start our potatoes in cold water. Yeah, cold water. Or any root vegetable, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. So that, that ain't too like a salmon thing. <laughs> yeah. Tubers. Tubers. Yeah. I'm gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Anytime I make in like um potato salad, mm -hmm. you see this MP brand? Yeah. To me, is the best? Is the best in terms of like color and flavor and everything. Right, so the yeah. pack the packaging on point with the actual the, yeah, product. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean look at it. Yeah. Watch how nice and bright the carrots looking, the, the peas now looking wash out. Mm. You know? Yep. Yeah, no no no. And there's no filter right now on my camera, yeah? For the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. And I ain't looking for no advertisement, you know. For the last 20 years, that is all I just buy when I buy peas and carrots. Wait. Yeah. You're using that since I was a newborn. Spicy with lots of garlic. Mm-hmm. You always put garlic in your potato salad as always, well. Always, always. Just like how I make a cool slow. Yeah. That's how I make <laughs> Ooh, potato salad. Boy, that's a rich salad. Yeah. Is that much potato? Yeah, that'll be great. Right. Get it? Look how fine a piece here. That'll be great. The catch? It's gonna be great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, so we're gonna build this barbecue sauce quick, 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 no fuss. Uh -huh. Right, but we're gonna only one burner we have. Bacon. But in the meanwhile, we could, Bacon. you know, fast forward things a little bit. Yeah. So we have barbecue sauce. We're going in there with some grind seasoning. To <laughs> kill. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Pop a piece of fresh garlic inside of them. You said parrot. Yeah. Is enough here? Yeah. Right. A little ketchup. Some ketchup, right? And a little mustard. A little mustard, right. And we like we like coffee so much. Yeah. That <laughs> if we ain't drinking it, we eat it. Yeah. One teaspoon, eh? One teaspoon. Alright. Yeah. We're going on barbecue some suri. We're going and barbecue some suri. What's that in the back? What? Get up nice. Yeah. And look at this. And it kicked out. Oh, and I didn't come through the number. I'm 
Where are they? The shrimp. Oh boy. Come now, come now. You see what's going on? Right? Oh god. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, you will see about everything? Yeah. Mama, mama, just give me the... Oh, that's the kidney smell it. Yes. I'm telling you. Mm. All you have is the thing hit the grill. Mm. And the first drop of that seasoning fall on them hot coals. Immediately. The atmosphere was filled <laughs> with a shrimp barbecue flavor. Seafood sensation. Seafood sensation. Girls are looking careful. Them girls playing merry-go-round there. Eh? No. Sorry. You go hear the cry just now. So let me ask you something. You're satisfied with how it's coming out? Yeah. The only thing is I have to get a better piece of mesh for on top here. Because right. every now and then our shrimp is going to fall through. Yeah. You know, once you're doing a little grilling and thing, you had to have a little apple juice. Mm -hmm. I'm a little apple juice there now. Apple Enjoy juice. your apple juice, man. You had to keep hydrated because remember, you're facing heat. That's right. No, I don't know what you all might think, you know. But in my humble opinion, I think we on point here with these trims. Yep. Correct. That's the last batch finishing up there. Yeah, man. Yes. Now, some people is dip their chicken in barbecue sauce before even putting it on the grill. Yeah. But we don't do it like that. No. Right? We always make sure um char the chicken up a bit first. And then. And this has been pre-cooked, eh? Yeah, we pre-cook it. Real yeah. chicken style. Mm-hmm. And what all you see in there, that is not here. That is ginger and things sticking out of it, eh? And in this neck of the world, we just grill the neck too. <laughs> <sighs> you find I overdo it? No, nah, man. I find we could sit down and take a little five. Yeah, yeah. And take in the smell, man. <laughs> Bring back the old time days. I still love them old time ways. Sample the shrimp with me now. Come now, now said. Now watch me. Let me tell you something. You see, before I was making all these videos and thing, I would have done sample this long, long time. But I, I know. Still like a real good fella waiting to taste this shrimp. Mm. Oh, good. I could cry. Mm. Whoa. And? Mm. That farmer worked so hard whole day it went up red and come back green, you know. <laughs> Sid smelled that shrimp, you know, and she come out for she taste, you know, eh, baby? Just taste good. Taste good? You feel like you could eat a hundred more? <laughs> you think people going on the road smelling that smoke? Not only people going on the road, people in the Cora Hospital right now. Them patients and I'm smelling that. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Mm -hmm. 
What that piece of milk coming down from the mountains? Yeah, boy, real nice, boy. Yeah, like somebody grilling on the mountain too. <laughs> but it looking nice, eh? Yeah. And you can get a good idea the wind speed too. You know, look how fast the mist moving across the Yeah. Mountain. You see? Oh, look at this nice situation taking place here. Yeah, boy. Now, this is where we're going to get the barbecue sauce. We're going to get the barbecue sauce and deal with him. Start to do a little piece, man. Mm hmm. Oh, God, my liver. <laughs> what to your liver? My liver fall off, boy. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, now we had to fight for that Ooh, liver. Oh, boy. Yeah. You know, we's not gizzards. Yes. We's livers. livers. Look at piece of liver. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice sauce, boy. Mm. That sauce is boss. Taylor, we handle this real quick. In goes your garlic, peas and carrots, some black pepper, a little sugar. A little mustard and mayonnaise. And of course you could put whatever else you want in here. You could put onions, bell peppers, eggs, celery. But we're keeping it simple today. Potato salad is ready. And so is the chicken. Woo! Yeah. Oh my gosh, Lasana! Mm -hmm. You didn't lie about that caramelization bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. Alright, oh! Strims, potato salad, barbecue chicken. Nice and simple. I think we first. Cold pot situation in Quora was a success. Yes. Let me eat. Yeah, man. Well, let me cut up some chicken for these girls. One time. Okay. <laughs> girls, what do you say? Correct? Mm -hmm. We score? Yeah. Tasting good? Mm-hmm. Woo! What about you? You like it? You like it? You not I don't like it. I don't want this. Sana, hmm? we are one critic. Eh. Yeah, she ain't like nothing. She don't like it? No. <laughs> that is some current tasting cool pot food. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm hmm. I got your face that you like now, boy. Mm. Chicken juicy and tender. What about the shrimp? What about the shrimp? He can't talk, he can't talk. <laughs> right, so until next time, be happy, be safe. Bye. Bye. Adios. Check Suri face. Thank you, Granny and Grandpa, for the cold oh. pot. Yes, man. Don't worry, we're going we to do something on the grill and call all your man. We know there was time for church today. Yeah, man. Yeah? It's in the making, right? In the making. Yeah. Love in the house. <laughs>